Hello and welcome to another Waste of My Rolling Road Run. Um, this is a Peugeot 405, as you can see. It is a Peugeot 405 turbo diesel, and the purpose of today's video is to run it up on the rolling road and see how much power it still has. You might think that's a bit stupid. Why would you bother? You know, you can watch videos of people with tuned skylines and Monaros spitting flames and everything. I'm not really into that. I like doing the old, like, silly stuff just to see how much power it's still got. Because this thing has done 330,000 miles, which in kilometers is about that much. Uh, I wanna see how much of it it still has. This will be a Viking funeral for this car, if it goes up in flames, which it might, uh, because this car is destined for scrap. It's very rusty underneath. It is what you would call end of life, but it has one more chance to do something good. It's worked hard its whole life, providing good service for all its owners. And today, it's gonna to prove that the XUD turbo diesel engine, the 1.9, is legendary. 330,000 miles on it, I predict. That's lost nothing at all. That makes me stupid, doesn't it? And then of course, when we've done it, we will stick it on the leaderboard here. Uh, 90 is what it should have. That would put it around here somewhere. And I kind of hope it hasn't got between 92 and 88, because if it has, I'll have to unstick these. That would be annoying. Hopefully it's got just under 88 or just above 90. No, actually, I'm not lift it one in there either. Well, I'll just do it and find out. But yeah, this is the leaderboard. I'll explain that later on. All you need to know is Auto Shenanigans is currently winning with his Saab, and uh, Hubnut is in the Hubnut position. Not right at the bottom. I have left a gap in case Hubnut brings another car. All right. She's all plugged in. Let's find out. Um, smoggy, but that felt strong. That felt really strong. Now, before I look at the numbers, you might laugh and think, oh, what an old clunker, you know, what's that gonna produce? PSA cars, and when I say PSA, I don't mean public service announcement. I mean, PSA cars as in Peugeot Citroen cars from the 80s, 90s. Yeah, 80s, 90s, noughties, it starts to go a little bit off. They're really, really good on numbers. They do appear to be very good on the numbers. They, um, yeah, they hit the book figures. And in some cases, they exceed the book figures. Uh, that felt strong. I think I saw it glimpse at about 72 at the wheels. So I think we're going to be, I think Pastor Picasso is going to get a run here. Let's find out. Now, 
Of course, I'm looking at past the Picasso there. That's the only other, although that's not an XUD9, that was a two liter HDI 90 and it hit 88 horsepower, only two under its book figure. And that was with over a quarter of a million miles on the clock. So although this thing is a high mileage hero, it isn't quite past the Picasso, but then what is? The moment of truth. Oh, wow. Bloody hell. The book figure on this car is 148 pound foot of torque and I'll find out the revs that that is I think it's at 2200 could be 2000 I'm not sure I'll put it on the screen now the, the correct the um I'll put it here in fact it won't you know what I mean it won't be on this screen but on your screen um the book figure for the torque um and the book figure for the power that's the one we're going with so it made 77.2 at the wheels the correction and the corrected figure and the actual measured figure I'll go into that in another video. This will be too long otherwise, but uh, basically that's the numbers you're looking at there. 149 pound foot of torque and 89 horsepower at 3,800 RPM. And a graph that is absolutely beautiful. I mean, apart from that little tiny dip there, and if we do another run, that might go away. 330,000 miles. What did I say about this one here? How good that was. The throttle response on this thing is better than any modern diesel. You know, it's... God, they're good, aren't they? He shouldn't scrap it. It's lovely. It's not lovely. Look, it's an absolute wreck. But the thing that's underneath here, it's lovely. Let's do it again and see what it gets. You can film the back now and see if... Uh, well, see if you can see afterwards. I don't think you'll be able to. It's a bit smoggy. If we can hear ourselves think, that's better. Right, oh, I, can, I can taste the air. I don't have exhaust extraction because I don't use this very often. But in times like these, that is a problem. Ready, second run. I do, okay, I don't use it very often, but I do enough rolling roads to know that that is absolutely outstanding. I'm blown away again. I'm blown away again by another one of these cars. Another one of these PSA diesels. And it is stitching me up because I'm gonna have to put it here. Which means I'm gonna have to move them later on, but. Oh, that's why Azra had run out of Tipex the other day. Right, brought you inside the car. We're gonna do one more run, but I'm gonna do it from inside so you can see. And also, because loads of noisy motorbikes just rocked up outside. So if I put the lights on so you can see the dials better, there you go. So the computer will start recording when I start the run. I'm going to start the run in second gear. Good old PSA speedo there. That's third. That's fourth. We're going to do a run in fourth. So at 25, it will bite. It's biting now. And now the run's started.
I mean, you can rev it higher, but there's no point. Power had started to tail off. I actually think we might get a better number here than before. I'll tell you what else I've forgotten is how comfy Peugeot 405s are. Those seats are so comfortable. I mean, it's nice and worn out, but they're really nice cars, aren't they? Right. Ready? It's going up again, 90.9 and 150 pound foot, although it is dipping a little here. I don't think she's really got any more to give. Wow. So it's done it consistently. That's the other thing here. It's done that three times. I mean, like sometimes you'll run a car and you'll get, you'll do three runs and one of the runs will go like that and you'll get a really high number. And if you're going to the pub, that's the number you'd use, but it's bollocks. But that is consistent. So if I load the last three and overlay them, you can see. So if we take in the four or five runs there, look, that's the last two it did. The speeds, well, the revs are slightly out, um, but that can be an anomaly between the rollers and, and the, uh, well, the car and the rollers, because you're doing it based on road speed. Uh, if I change it to road speed, you can see, yeah, it was consistent in some places and it was out in others. But that, yeah, like, they're probably closer there than that suggests. Uh, if I overlay past the Picasso, you can see that the HDI has way more grunt low down. And you can feel that, to be fair. When you drive a HDI, you can feel it. The torque it has. Look how much earlier the torque's coming in. However, the gearing on that car might be different. If I change it to road speed, um, well, that's completely thrown my argument out of the water because it appears to be taller geared. 87 miles an hour at 3.8. 79 miles an hour at 3.8, yes. Past Picasso is taller geared, so that's blown that argument out of the water completely. That is just past Picasso has way more torque. 165 pound foot it made. Um, because it's nice and loose, nice and freed up. Um, and if we add Bella in, the Hubnut Berlingo, this is the time you get behind the sofa, Curly. Uh, where's it gone? And there's Bella. Oh. Bella's the blue one. This is power, that's torque. It's, it's, um, well, it's got more torque. It's got more torque up to 2000 revs than this Peugeot does. And then it all goes wrong. And the Peugeot carries on gracefully, victoriously. But this isn't a video to bash Ian. Uh, there are enough of those. This is a video to celebrate the Peugeot 405 and its magnificence. I mean, I'd love to tell you that I'm surprised, but I'm not because I know what these cars are like. I've done so many of these cars on the rollers, diesels, petrols, anything from this era. I'm not surprised, but I'm wowed by how smooth the graph is, by how unpeaky it is. And once again, it shows, like past the Picasso, mileage is but a number. That BX that's above past Picasso there made book figures. Past Picasso lost two. But you can lose two horsepower on a rolling road like this just by doing two different runs. The only one that's really letting the side down there is Bella the Berlingo. Um, that's an anomaly. They're normally very good. That is just, I mean, he, yeah, the car may be well be going for scrap. And I'll be sorry to, uh, to see it go. But that engine needs to go in something and live on. Now, some people are going to ask me what fuel pump this has got, and I've no idea, because they're going to be like, oh, what specs that engine? Has it got a Garrett turbo or a KKK? Which isn't like, not like reform. It's, it's um, a brand of turbo, Garrett or KKK. Uh, or is it a Lucas pump or a Bosch pump? We're going to find out. I've no idea. So it's that fuel pump there. I don't know what one that is. But those numbers just came out of that fuel pump there. And the turbo, don't ask me, I do not have a clue. So that little run for the Peugeot. Have I spelt Peugeot wrong there? Yes, I have. There you go. No one will notice. Peugeot 405 TD. 300,000 miles. No, 330,000 miles. And it was 90 BHP, which is only two down 
on what the book figure said. So that means that the Peugeot 405 that is shortly to be scrapped, but I said to him, do not scrap the engine, will go there. Between VEP at 92 horsepower, also down two, and between past the Picasso on 88 horsepower, also down two. These are all down two horsepower on book figures, but that is still pretty impressive. Oh dear Ian, it happened again, it happened again. Oh dear Ian, it happened again.